What the opposition are proposing would undermine all of those things. Question number two, Kevin Haig. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Labour and asks, does she agree that the test of practicability in the Health and Safety and Employment Mining Underground Regulations 1999 is likely to result in different mines having different safety standards in contrast to regulations in place until 1992? The Hon. Kate Wilkinson. Mr Speaker, no. The 1999 underground mining regulations set both general and specific duties in relation to recognised hazards in underground mining. In meeting these duties, both spe specifically and more generally, mine operators are required to take all practicable steps to manage the hazards in the particular circumstances of the mine. There may be different ways for mines to meet the standard, but the standard remains the same. Kevin Haig. Supplementary. Does she agree that a well-resourced mining company will be able to afford more safety measures and thereby find them practicable than a less well-resourced mining company? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, the standard remains the same whether the mine is small or not, that the, that the employer must take all practicable steps to manage the hazards in the particular circumstances of the mine. Supplementary. Kevin Haig. Does she agree that mandatory rules requiring all underground mining companies to continuously monitor for the presence of flammable gases would result in safer mines than the current regulation requiring employers to take all practicable steps to test for the presence of such gases? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I don't want to, to speculate on hypothetical questions relating to the actual, the actual requirements, but can I say that those matters are subject to a Royal Commission of Inquiry uh, and that we will be looking at the recommendations of that inquiry very carefully. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, Kevin Hayes. There's, there's nothing hypothetical about the question and, and the, the issue of, of comparison of the two sets of standards which is what the question related to is entirely independent of the Royal Commission. Order. What the member asked, though, was does the minister agree with something? And the minister uh, is, has got a range of how she indicates whether or not she agrees with something. And with that kind of question, I can't help the member a lot further. Supplementary question, Kevin Haig. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does she, does, does she share the concerns of mine safety experts that the practicability standard in our mine safety regulations allowed a 55 metre high sheer vertical escape ladder in the Pike River coal mine rather than the previous standards which specified a safety platform every nine metres or so? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, of course we have concerns about mine safety, which is why we've taken this, the, the matter of Pike River and, and the incident that happened there. The tragedy happened there very seriously, which is why we've got a Royal Commission of Inquiry in relation to that. But in relation to that practicable steps, Mr Speaker, I, I, I believe that that is a high standard, and indeed uh, in the High Court, El Justice Ellis did note that, quote, the obligations on an employer are uncompromising, and onerous, an employer must be proactive and anticipate harm and take all practicable steps to minimise it." Unquote. Supplementary. Is, is, the minister, is the Minister saying that a practicability standard is equivalent to a mandatory standard? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Mr Speaker, no. Kevin Haig. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. What possible reason is there to wait until the Royal Commission reports before making urgent moves to improve the safety of workers going underground every day right now. The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, following the tragedy at Pike River, we did undertake an, an independent audit, an audit of the other underground mines. There was no indication of any imminent danger in those underground mines. We will be looking very carefully at the no doubt comprehensive review and recommendations of the Royal Commission of Inquiry. Point of order, uh, Kevin Haig. 
I seek the Leader of the House to uh, table this photograph of the 55 metre sheer vertical escape ladder at the Pike River Mine. Leave us sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Is a practicability standard higher or lower than a mandatory standard? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, it's not a question of whether it's higher or lower. It's a question of whether it's an appropriate standard and practicable steps has been, has been assessed as a high standard and, in fact, has been assessed as being uncompromising and onerous in terms of the employer's obligations. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. a very simple and very direct question, and for a minister to say that is not the question, sir, is, in my submission, not an appropriate way to start an answer. And, and the next part of my point of order, sir, is, have, given that, the actual question was not addressed. She might say she thinks it was high, but it, order, it wasn't the relative order, ho height. The member asked uh, which, which was the, uh, the, the higher standard, I think, uh, if I recollect correctly, between practicability and, and the mandatory standard. And the Minister's answer said she believed that was irrelevant to, uh, is what I believe the Minister implied by, uh, by not saying whether one was higher or the other. She said what was relevant was, was I don't want to try and paraphrase the Minister's answer. And to me she's entitled to do that, I, I believe, not to say one is higher than the other if she believes that comparison is not relevant to safety. And that's what I believe what the Minister was indicating. If I'm wrong there, I invite the Minister to correct me. Uh, and uh, further, further point of order, point of order that, the Honourable that, that, that I think does go to the essence of, of, of questioning in this House. I, my submission to you is that it is not for a minister to say that is not the question that should be asked. I'd rather answer this other question, which is what the minister just did. Order, no, that's, that's not what I believe the minister did. In fairness, what I believe the minister uh, argued in answering the question was that the comparison with respect to uh, higher or lower between those two standards was not a relevant issue to safety and therefore she was not prepared to say whether one was higher or lower because in her view that wasn't relevant to, to mine safety. She was not saying the member asked the wrong question but in answering the question, if I heard her correctly, she was saying that that comparison whether higher or lower is not relevant to safety. Now whether that's a, uh, you know, a, a, a good answer or not, I'm, it's not my job to judge. That's what I believe she answered, and I believe that is an answer to the question. Further, further go, sir. My, my supplementary question uh, didn't have a safety aspect to it at all. Well, I believe that we, these are safety standards that the member's talking about, and that's why I believe... Uh, uh, well, I, I don't believe that uh, with respect to these standards, where they're placed on a scale of, of altitude, it's a matter of, of higher or lower with respect to safety. And uh, point of order, the Honourable Trevor. That is the very essence of the question. The Minister has lowered the standards. No order. And, no, no, that's not a point of order. That is definitely not a point of order. And I think, look, I've, I've, I've listened to the, the questions very carefully, and these are and these are serious questions, absolutely serious questions. And and uh, I've listened to the Minister's answers very carefully, and. And it's not my job to judge how good they are, it's my job to assess whether she's answered the question. And it is within the Minister's rights to, to argue that a question asked uh, in terms of standards relative to safety, that, that one is not higher than another. She's argued that, that that is not the relevant issue, and I believe that's a fair answer to the question. People can judge its quality. That's not my job as Speaker. I cannot rule out Ministers to answer further just because some members may not feel the answer is a good answer. Uh, I can't uh, rule on that. Question or supplementary, supplementary question, Mr. Damien Speaker. Why did her department take 10 weeks to conduct an on-site inspection of Spring Creek Mine after it was closed for production the day of the Pike River disaster? And does this de delay give an accurate indication of the inadequate level of monitoring her department was able to carry out to protect the safety of miners? In underground mines. The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Speaker, in answer to the second part of that question, no. <laughs> Point of order, the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Mr Speaker, the Minister herself separated out the question. I'd like the answer to the first part of the question no, order. as well. Order, order. The uh, point of order is taken. There won't be comment. Uh, if the member wanted that first part of the question answered, that's all he should have asked. Uh, Darren Fenton's Thank supplementary you. question. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Order. To the Minister of Labour, does she stand by her decision 
outlined in a letter dated the 12th of November 2009 from her department to the Engineers Union, where it says that, quote, the minister considers that the existing legislative framework under the Health and Safety and Employment Act 1992 already provides a good basis for effective employee participation and that she does not agree to a regulatory change to introduce check inspectors nor for an improved code of practice for employee participation, specifically in the mining sector. The Hon. Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, I do stand by those statements, but I'm also looking forward to the recommendations of the Royal Commission of Inquiry, which will be able to show whether our regulatory framework is appropriate and where, if anything, it can be approved, improved. Point of order, Darren I Fenton. seek leave to table the letter from the Department of Labour that, that I just quoted to the uh, Health and Safety Coordinator of the Engineers uh, Printing and Manufacturing Union dated 12th of November 2009. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There, there, I, I, let me put this leave. I, there's no objection. Point of order, the Honourable Darren Thank you, Mr Conn. Speaker. I, I seek leave to table uh, in the House a uh, audit report of Spring Creek Mine uh, that shows this was conducted 10 weeks after uh, the disaster at Pike River. Could we just check who, who made the audit? Who this can, Department of Labor report. The Department of Labor report. Leave us sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number three, the Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question's...